Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. I am so excited for today's tutorial. I finally found an LOL SVG file. So it's from coolsvgs.com. I will definitely post that link in the video. Um, and I know you could do it manually. You can go to a coloring book, upload it, clean the file, and then do all the colors, but it's so much work. So I'm super excited to have found this file. So Queen B, so cute, right? Let's make her 30 inches. So I'm gonna move my face over so you can see this. All right, so let's type in for height 30 and just hit tab because this is locked right now. So uh, whatever our height is, then our width will change proportionately. Cause I always get that question like, well, the height is 30, but what's my width? You don't need to calculate it. You can just enter in 30, hit enter or tab and it will change your width proportionately. Same thing as if you put in the width, the height will change proportionately. Okay, so at 30 inches, um, I like this, this size because it's great next to uh, a cake, great for photos for the birthday. And usually they, you know, the kids are between five and 10 years old at 30 inches. It is, it's pretty big next to them. It's substantial and it will show up in pictures and it'll look really, really cute. Um, okay, so 30 inches by 20. So basically we're gonna be using 12 by 12 cardstock. We know the Cricut can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I hate dealing in half inches. So I'm just gonna change the measurements to 11 by 11. And in this case, it wouldn't matter whether we did 11 and a half or 11 inches. You're gonna need two columns, right? To hit 20, because 11 plus 11 is 22. Or if you did 11 and a half plus 11 and a half, it's still 23 inches. You still need two columns. And you still need three columns, whether we do 11 inches or 11 and a half inches. So that's why I do 11, because I don't wanna deal with it. Okay, but this one's a little bit different. I'm trying something new, and the reason is, so this one, I've, um, I'm gonna change this to, well, I guess we can keep it at 11 and a half and 11 and a half. I do like 11, but here's what I really wanna make sure we get done, is I want this dress because this it's striped, right? So the black is part of the black outline. So if we have any cuts down here, it's going to show up and I don't want to. So I want to make sure that my dress fits in this area right here. So I want to show you something though. So you see how this is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. I think we may be able to fit this if we change her this way. So we're really, really close here. Let me see if I can... I think that fits. So do you see how by changing um, the rotation of the dress, the dress now fits in this 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and it cuts off right here. I don't really care about that. It cuts here, I don't care, because the brown, her skin is gonna be sitting across this seam right here. We won't notice it. We would notice, though, a seam right down here or right here, right, because it'll just be a line in the black, and the black will show. Um, if we did black glitter cardstock, it wouldn't show. However, that's a lot of black glitter cardstock, and I, I don't like wasting the glitter cardstock when all I care about are these stripes. So, um, so now that we know that, let's just flip her back. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, let's, my one of my new steps, okay? So let's duplicate this, and on this one, we're gonna flatten. So it's gonna look like a print and cut, or yeah, print and cut. I don't know why it says cut and print because you print first and then you cut. Um, but this is here just so that we don't forget what she looks like as we ungroup this. So I'll make this a little bit smaller so she's in our in our frame. Um, okay, and we did change this already. All right, so let's start ungrouping this to see what we have, okay? Um, so here's her hair. Now, these are individual pieces, right? Because they're not connecting. But I feel like we can connect them up here without changing it too much. So I kind of want to do that only because I don't want this to be, what is that, nine separate pieces just for the bangs. Um, that's kind of how I'm, I'm feeling. Um, I do want this to be gold glitter cardstock because I think her hair is going to look amazing with that gold as well as her dress. So um let's ungroup this right so we can't ungroup it here which means this is like a, a welded 
image, right? So all of this is attached. We can't cut it as is. This won't even fit even if you had a uh, 12 by 24 piece of cardstock, okay? So here's our square. Let's duplicate this a few times. And I'm gonna take this one and I'm just gonna separate this from the hair and from the dress, okay? So our when you're slicing, you can slice two items at one time. The yellow, even though it's in multiple pieces, it's technically the way it's done here. This is one image that contains the hair, the bangs, and the dress. So that's one image and my square is the other image. So I'm gonna grab these two things and slice. So now the hair is by itself, right? And then the dress is by itself. You can just get rid of all the weld or the slice um, results. You can get rid of that. So here's her dress. Um, we could make this a little bit more efficient, right? Because right now it's, it's gonna cut together and that's why it's showing 13 inches by eight. Um, technically, we didn't do anything. If you just shifted it this way, I think we might be able to get this to work. No. See, if I did just a little bit more, the dimensions now are 11 by 10. So technically, you could use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and you could cut this. But if you want it to be more efficient, we should um, separate this. And the way I would separate this is the same thing with this square. Um, let's do this. So we can, you know, make sure that first layer up there is covered in the square, grab the two items and slice. So now that's out of there, right? We could just move over here. You can keep on using the same square and slice, okay? So you can see we can get rid of these two pieces because what would be great if everything fit, like we can um, make sure that we don't go more than two pages on this. It'll include the hair and the dress. Okay, so now let's look at this. We can, let me change this around so that we can use the same square. Let me see if I can get that. I don't think I can get that curve. So let's go grab a circle and a circle will, you wanna unlock it so that we can make it fit this, this top piece is all covered by the circle, right? So now grab this. And you see how the square behind it is really close? As long as this is only picking up two items, which right now it's picking up the gold and the circle, and you know that because the slice option is available. But let me redo it where I'm gonna go and hit just enough to grab that square. So you see right there, I'm barely in the square space, but the fact that I'm in it means I grab three items, slice is no longer an option, okay? All right, so let's grab these two things, slice. And now we have this piece by itself. And then let's do this one more time. We'll flip this over and do this side. And I'm gonna unlock it again and I'm gonna spread it out a little bit more so that I can get that top piece covered. Okay, now I'm gonna grab these two and slice. Now my dress, the stripes of the dress, is all individual pieces so I can deal with that. So this, we could probably change to something like this and I'll fit, right? Okay, uh, so we have that. Let's look at the hair. Now the hair is closer. It's gonna be more difficult to get out. So what I would do with the hair is I'm gonna call this one, two, three, and I'm gonna call the bangs the fourth piece of this. So when you wanna break up something this close, I would use contour and however many pieces I want, that's how many duplicates I need. So I'm breaking this up into four pieces. So I'm gonna need, here's my second copy, third and fourth. I'm gonna go to contour with that first one. Oops, there we go. And let's hide all. It's gonna leave this part right there. So that's fine. I'm gonna hit X out of this. So here's my cute little crown. And let's see if that's gonna work. I want to make sure she's, oh no, do we need to slice this? I think we do need to slice it. Yeah, so this is a little bit too big, but that's okay. We'll slice this because um, I'm using 12 by 12 cardstock. Now with the gold cardstock, this is, um, it's not going to be that noticeable. And I think we can really push it up against each other and it'll look good. So let's just go ahead and stick this over here. Like so. 
And let's just grab this and slice. And I think that should give us a piece that we can work with now. So yeah, so that will fit in one. Here's my other little piece that I can move in there. Okay, and we can just delete this here. Okay, so this next one, let's contour. Let's hide all, so it leaves this, right? I want this piece, which somehow hit <laughs> that one, that's okay. So this is selected, let's deselect this crown part. And there's our right piece. Let's go to this one and get our left bun. Let's go to contour and hide all. And I want this one, but I don't want this one. So here's our left bun, and then all that's left is we're going to get the bangs. So it's contour, and for contouring, you can either use that panel or you can go over here and hit everything. So I don't want that. Don't want that. I don't want that. So I'm left with the bangs. So the bangs, what we can do is, where's my little, let's bring in another circle. I want to weld a little piece up here at the top. So it's all connected, so it comes out as one piece. Let me see if I could do that. Um, no, I want it more. Let me see if I can get that. So I kind of want to get the same shape, right? I'm going to duplicate this. And I want this piece to be really thin. So they're gonna be sitting almost on top of each other. And I'm gonna make this different colors so that you can see um, what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna make this a lighter color so you can see it. So I want to put this one here because I just want a thin piece that's gonna go right up top here. So now I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. And so that's gonna give me this piece right here that I'm gonna put I'm gonna try to move it up really high. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna weld it. And so now, I mean, that looks natural, right? Let's compare it to this girl right here. So, and luckily because I haven't, we, this was the first thing that we messed with. Look at that compared to that. Um, you wouldn't know that it wasn't supposed to do that, right? But this will save you so much time. Instead of gluing and keeping track or, or taping, however you're going to do it, I prefer taping. But, you know, that's nine pieces that is now one nice piece. Now, the thing that I don't like about it is I missed a little gap right there. So I'm going to hit contour in this case. And I don't want to deal with this, 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 or this. This. These are just little tiny dots that's only going to trip up your cardstock paper. So let's get rid of that. No one's going to notice that. That was my thing anyway. There. So now this piece is going to cut beautifully. And it kind of looks, looks really good, I think. <laughs> I love it. All right. So that's all good. Let's get rid of these things that we don't need. I kind of want to just declutter a little bit so that we can keep track of what we have. Okay. All right. So our yellow is all done our gold is all done let's go look at this what's next these are her eyes and you see it's 10 inches by three and a half i would i would slice this up so that we can move it closer together so let's just do this grab these two things and slice so this that eye is all good so instead of the 10 inches and in some look when we go to cut the white we can do this and now, instead of using a ton of paper, we only need a four by five piece of white glitter cardstock. That's what I'm gonna be using anyway, okay? So you see how, I mean, we could get rid of these, these circles and make them closer, but I'm not going to, um, I think this is saving enough. So we could move it like in more, I think. We could, and now that's four by four. So you see, instead of 10 inches by whatever it was before. Okay, so let's move this over because now we've got that done. Um, those are tiny, tiny little lips. It's That's only an, that's an inch, one, uh, one inch squared for the lips. I'm gonna leave it close together like that. That's fine. Um, let's see, what do we have left? Now the eyes, I want her skin. I usually don't like to do skin with glitter cardstock because then it, 
uh, it's too distracting. So I am going to probably either use the same color as I used for Jasmine, which was this metallic shimmery paper from, uh, from Cricut. Um, and I don't know, that's gonna be a game time decision. But I do wanna separate the eye part. That eye part, I love using the orange glitter cardstock from Cricut. It's really shimmery and it's a dark orange where it's almost brownish, like a burnt orange. So I definitely want to separate that out. So these are separated enough that I can slice it out. So let's do this. Let's slice out the legs one at a time. Oops. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to grab from here, grab two items, slice. So I got that leg separated. Let's turn this. Let's get this leg separated. Slice. Now we don't need the slice results, so you can just delete that. But now these legs are separated and we can put them really close together like we do, like we did with the gold. Um, Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's get her arm. I could get a clean, I'll need a clean one. Let me just do that. <laughs> let's duplicate that square. Okay, so let's do this. All right, grab those two things, slice. So we got one arm out. And slice this arm out. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about her face. Her face is pretty wide. Um, shoot. I hope it's... Oh, I can't get that one out for some reason. Okay, so let's make this her face one item, two, three. So here's my second copy, third copy. Let's go to contour. Let's hide all, so left me the face, but I'm gonna want all these pieces in here of her eyes. And her lips, I don't want that. Okay, so that's one piece. Contour, hide all, I want the hand. And I want the hand with those little things in there. Okay, here's her hand. Oh shoot, contour, I forgot to get rid of the face. There's the face. Let's get this face. Okay, good, the face will be one piece. The face, I should have looked at it because it was kind of wide. Um, you definitely don't want a seam on the face. That is gonna be so annoying and it will, your eyes will draw to it and so, if it meant going from 30 inches to 29 inches, then I would definitely do the 29 inches. I would even do 26 inches because it's not worth having a seam down the face. <laughs> I hate that. Um, okay, I forgot the ears. So let's duplicate this again so that we can get two ears. And I think we're good. So let's contour. We want to hide all. I want the neck. Don't want the face. So that's that and I should have we'll duplicate this because I want the eyes separated um so what do we have left the ears contour hide all I want where are my ears I want this one and I want that little piece that goes in there there we go oh, I forgot to get rid of the face contour get rid of the face now the ear I just want to point out let me make this bigger so you can see so see that little piece right there I'm gonna weld that. There is no reason why this needs to be two pieces. I would make this one piece, so I don't need to deal with it. We'll deal with that in a second, okay? So let's scroll back out. Um, okay, so this one, we're left with the right ear. Let's go to contour, hide all. We want this piece and this piece, and we don't want that. Okay, so those are our ears. What I would like to do is, let's go in and bring in a circle. And I'm gonna make this big again so we can see what we're dealing with. Okay, so here's our circle and our ears. I'm gonna make two um, because we gotta do two ears. And let's 
unlock this and make it very I'm trying to make it so that it's looks more natural that it's part of the ear maybe like that and well oh you know yeah let's weld that okay so that no one would know that that's not the way it's supposed to look let's go over here unlock it make it a piece that would kind of work with that and maybe something like there and weld it so now it's one piece okay let's go back out okay let's look at this so we want to separate the eyes so we want the face which is this and then we want two more copies okay one for each eye so let's go to contour and on this one let's get rid of um the face let's see let's hide all we want just that and we don't want the face so that's one side let's go to this one contour hide all and we want this and not the face all right, perfect. So these two things, I'm gonna change the color so that we know we want it to be. I'm gonna change it to orange, so that, just so that I know on the mat that those will be there. Oh, and this one, we gotta get rid of the eyes. So let's contour. Okay. Now, the other thing that I wanna do is, because we're gonna be, let's look at this. We don't know where we're going to slice this, right? And so this is an opening right here. What I would do is I, I want to make sure that if we end up slicing somewhere in between the eyes, let's duplicate this and we're going to contour and we want, oops, let's hide all. We want the eyes. Oops. And we don't want the face. We're gonna turn those into black because if there is a seam, we'll put this inside here and then we'll build the eyes on top of that. So all the seams will be covered, okay? So we wanna do that. Let's separate it so that it's um, more efficient when we go to cut it. Okay. Now, if you're wondering, we should also be doing that for the eyebrows and even the mouth. But those are so small that if we needed to, we could just take the, like the scrap from when we cut it and you can just insert it from behind. Like that one, I'm not gonna bother with it. Okay, so I think we've undone almost everything. Oh, we have her shoes left. Now the shoes are another thing. So I know her shoes are black. Uh, I looked her up. I want to use black glitter cardstock on this. So um, so that's fine. I'm looking at the shoelaces. I'm wondering if we should merge these a little bit, like weld them, um, so that they still look like it, but they're not going to. So right now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pieces for each shoe. I don't really like that. So I'm going to, let's bring in, oops. Okay, so I have my circle. Let's make this bigger so that we can see exactly what we're doing. Now I'm tempted to make this touch this a little bit more so it becomes one piece. This maybe touch right here so it becomes one piece with this. I'm not saying make everything into one piece, but I wanna um, go from 18 pieces of black down to maybe six. So let's duplicate this. All right, let's start working on this little guy. And you can use a square or a circle. I just find in um, the circles are a little bit easier to use in this case. So I'll make that a little bit more slender. And let's turn that a little bit. So see how that now just connects? And then grab that, weld it. 
So now that becomes, so the bow and this is now one piece. I've gotten rid of <laughs> one thing. Um, let's do this one. So let's duplicate the circle and unlock it so you can change the shape of the circle a little bit. And let's move, oops. Let's tilt that a little bit. Okay. Let's weld that. Okay, so now that's connected to that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not bad because these are big pieces. So I don't want to change it where it doesn't look like a shoe anymore. Um This one, I almost feel like these are big enough pieces and this is kind of far. Ugh. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's duplicate this. Let's do the same thing that we did on that side to this side. So let's make this smaller. And maybe put it right here, make it a little bit bigger so it looks like the lace goes all the way in. Let's weld that. Alright. Um kind of want that there. So let's unlock this. Kind of make it skinny. Okay. Make it small. right around there. Not the cleanest, but that's okay. Weld it. All right. Um, okay. Not bad. All right. So let's zoom back out. Where did everything go? <laughs> okay. Um, let's slice out the shoes so that we don't have that space. All right. So let's get rid of that. Now we have these shoes. Later, we can put them closer together. All right, so I think we have all our pieces. So let's delete that. So now we just need to slice up this background, right? So let me move all this stuff out of the way. Let's move everything out so we don't have to worry about it. And save. <laughs> So this is Queen B, LOL, 30 inches. All right, saved, I think. Okay, let's move her over. So we, I'm gonna build nine squares just so that we have, we don't have to worry about it. And this one, I'm actually gonna do 11 and a half because I wanted to make sure that the dress fits in there and I might need that half inch. Normally I don't do that, but mm, all right. <laughs> so this first one, when we're building our squares, we want them all flushed and we want, um, we don't want any overlaps and we don't want any gaps. So that's why we're going to use the position feature. The position feature tells, tells design space where you want each item placed. So right now this is active, right? So my, my rectangle square is the x coordinate is three that means go over three and go down 2.44 so here's one two 2.44 that's going to be the tip of the square so you see how that works so it's just like uh math when you're uh graphing okay so this is x going up and down is y so let's change this to whole numbers so 2.44 just like two let's duplicate this and we're going to put it right here if you put it close enough, you don't really don't have to do that much math. This is gonna be 14.5, because we're dealing in half inches. This is two, so it's already perfect. So now we have two perfectly flush squares, because this one started at three, three plus 11 and a half is 14 and a half, and there's 14 and a half. Make sense? All right, let's duplicate this one. Let's make another one right here. And this one, we'll just round 26.22 becomes 26. 
2.056 is 2. So now we have three squares completely flushed with each other. So hit this shift key while you hit select the middle one and then this one. So we selected all three, just duplicate. So we don't need to, we know these three are already flushed. Just put it close to here, go up to here. It's already at three. This becomes 13.5. Okay, and we'll duplicate again. And now this will be nine squares totally flushed with each other. And this becomes three and 25.1, whatever, becomes 25. All right, so here we go. Now we're gonna bring her in. Let's bring her to the front. Arrange, send to front. And I'm really gonna zoom in because I wanna make sure that this dress area is completely in one square. And I know this is like really hard to see. Let me not zoom in so much, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> my face is gonna be right up here. Let's see, I'm gonna tilt her a little bit. We may have to add some more squares. I'm basically looking for this dress to, oh, you know what, shoot. The nine squares are too close up here. Let's grab all nine squares and move it down a little bit. Okay. And I'm moving it just so that it was giving me a problem because this was up here and off the grid. So I've just moved, moved it down so that it's not in the grid. Um, but hold on, I do want this. Grab all nine squares and let's just go to 10 and 17 just so that I know exactly where my squares are. Okay. All right, so here we go. We want that dress to be totally, I don't care about the arms. I just wanna make sure that the dress itself is completely in the square. And I'm having a hard time seeing. <laughs> okay. Let me zoom in a little bit, okay. The problem with zooming in is I can't, okay, so the dress is almost, it's just right there. I need to twist this a little bit more. Okay, so I think, I think this is perfect. Oh yes, so the dress, this body area, is completely in one square. So it's gonna be seamless, which is what we really, really, really want. Everything else, we wanna make sure that nothing's like hanging out there. Like we wouldn't, I'm not gonna change this because I don't wanna move it, but we wouldn't want like a sliver of the hand to be in this square, cause that's gonna, you're gonna have to tape it up. It looks like everything, oh, okay. So we'll need to, we'll need to add some squares up there as well as over here to get this hair in. Okay, so this square, we're good. And that's the reason why I moved all nine to be with the whole number, because as I'm doing this, I wanna make sure this is flushed with this so that the hair doesn't have any gaps. So let's see, this is at 15 and 5.5, .5. that looks right. Let's duplicate that and get her other hair over here. And that, oops, okay, shoot. I need to move all of this over a little bit more. Let's, let's move back to 15 and six. All right, so let's deal with this. Um, I don't know if this is gonna matter as much. Okay, that's not gonna work. Well, you know what, I don't need that because as I slice this piece off, this piece will be by itself. So I think we are okay. All right, so I'm just gonna delete this. Let's delete the squares we don't need. I don't think we need that. Okay. Um, This, oh, I didn't grab this, shoot. Let's see, I think that looks good. All right, ready? So we're gonna be slicing this up. 
So let's do this. Slice. So we can get rid of all the slice results. Um, let's do this. Mm, let's do that. Okay, so let's clean up a little bit. We can move this out of the way a little bit. Oh no, undo. I wanted to get rid of... Did we slice this already? We did. So that's the foot. Let's get rid of this and this. I don't think we sliced this yet. Let's slice that. Okay, so let's rebuild her a little bit so that we know what where the pieces go. Okay, we don't need this. We don't need this. Okay, let's slice this. Here's the top of her arm and her head. A little puff. Let's get rid of this. Okay, slice this out. All right, so we've got Okay, so let's get rid of this and we'll deal with piecing her back together a little bit. I think this went here. This goes here. Oh shoot, I lost a piece. Let's undo. That was quite unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just backspacing. Let's see. Did I lose this piece? No, that was always here. Undo, undo. Uh, what happened? Sorry, I know this happens. Um, there, I got rid of this piece. That's what happened. Okay. Let's slice this. That's why it's good to rebuild though, <laughs> just to make sure you can always undo so you know where, you okay, so that's attached, hold on, there we go. All right. Now we have all our pieces. The only thing that I will say is, so these are all individual pieces. Let's see, this one is actually two pieces, but I'm kind of okay because it's here. I can probably add a couple things here. All right, so now we're done. Let's save it. Um, and let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what it looks like and how we can consolidate. Unless it's not gonna save. Okay, thank goodness. All right, let's go to make it. Oh, what do I have left? That's, oh, um, what piece did I leave in here that, is it this? Oh, okay, this, the, we don't need this anymore. Okay, uh, let's go to make it. Okay, so here's, uh, let me move this, click okay. This one, we, we wanna flip this over, right? It's up to you, um, depends on your scrap. It, this will go to four inches. So if you do this, this is five by four, but if you had another piece that you needed something like this, maybe it's not as long, however you need to do that. All right, let's look at this black piece. I use 12 by 24 mat, so this doesn't matter. We needed to tilt this a little bit more, but this fits the way it is and it will cut, it goes to 12. I would just use my 12 by 24 and put two pieces of black cardstock. 
All right, so this though, we can move up a little bit. What in the world here? Let's move this down, move this over. We still have some space actually. Maybe I would do something like this. Or maybe like that. Okay. We can probably move another eyeball over here. So let's see what we have. Oh yeah, one random foot here. <laughs> let's go to click the three dots, move object. Let's move it over here because we still have space. Click confirm. So we'll make sure you move that though so it doesn't ruin your cut pieces. Oh, uh, come on. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, move this down. All right, that looks pretty good. This one, we can move it closer and we still have room so we can actually add this guy. So let's grab this, move object. Let's move it to this one. Okay, so just be careful though. You see how this piece was behind it? Just make sure that all your pieces have their own space. That's so not cutting the overlap, won't cut over for you. Here's the big middle piece. All right, and we have our shoes. Now this is the um, black glitter cardstock. So you can move it like this. So now it will fit in a four by seven piece of cardstock or maybe even, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I don't know what happened here. I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> let's click on this, move object. Let's move it to the other brown sheet of paper. Okay, what is going on here? Why is it not fitting? Let's maybe move it like this to make sure it fits. And then let's move this hand. Um, I don't think this hand's going to fit. Let's move this to the other page. All right, so the face is going to be on one, the, this one, oh my goodness. Sometimes, um, because we're at the end, if this was at the beginning, I would have just hit the cancel and go back in and, and that will reset the glitch. But we had already moved the black items and everything else. So that's why I'm making this work. So this is fine. I'm not, I don't keep regular cardstock scraps, so I'm not worried about making that all fit efficiently. All right, but my gold glitter cardstock, I do. So let's flip this around. Whoops. And make it a little bit more efficient, like so. All right. Oh my gosh, our yellow. What in the world? Okay. This piece was super long, so I think we need to do diagonal. This one too. Let's do this and see if it'll fit. Okay, we're still good. Oh my gosh. This is a serious glitch. Okay, so that fits there. Let's move this guy down here a little bit. Okay, that fits. But now I can't reach all these other pieces. All right, let's move these out of the way. This is crazy. All right, now let's move these to fit better into here. Okay, this one. Maybe I'll move it down here. All right, you get the idea. You need to make that work. I don't know what. Design space, you're seriously acting up right now. Um, 
I would probably try to make this more efficient. All right, and then there's our pink. All right, I'm actually gonna cut this one. I'll have another video to assemble it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Uh, or if you have any special requests, let me know because I can do that for you. Uh, all right, so I will see you later. Thanks, guys.